Good boy, Tucker. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Hey, hey. Welcome. Work smarter where you want. Consistency is key. And remember, if it's not in Red Tail, it never happened. This is learning at its most fun. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Red Tail webinar. My name is Haley Mandrup, and I'm one of the trainers here at Red Tail. And I am so excited about the topic today. So today we're talking about mail merges. This is any type of paper or physical correspondence that you're sending to your clients. I, I mean, I don't know. I love getting something in the mail and I hope you guys feel the same or maybe your clients feel the same as well. I know it's kind of a, a thing that uh, we're moving on from maybe and text messages are the new way to communicate. But personally, I just love opening a letter from the postal system or from my mailbox and knowing that somebody put the time in to put a card together, fold up the letter, put it in an envelope, put the stamp on it and, and put it in the mail. Because I know for myself, it's such a hassle to, to put a letter together for someone else that someone took the time to do that for me. It's a very nice thought. So today we're going to be talking about all the different ways to build mail merges, run mail merges, and then notate mail merges within the system. So we're going to go full circle, how to get started with making a template, what kinds of templates you may find yourself creating in Redtail, and then how to generate those from the contact records to a Word file. And then from there, y'all pretty much know that you're going to have to print those out, maybe fold them up, put them in envelopes, and, and then send them out. But then we can also notate that we sent that correspondence from within Redtail as well. So we're going to be mostly in the system today, mostly within Redtail, and then also a little bit within Microsoft Word. And you do have to have Microsoft Word to be able to use Redtail's mail merge. It's not going to work with a Google document. So with that, let's go ahead and get started in a Word document that we're going to insert merge fields into. But before I go straight into a Word document, I like to show you where you can get all of the instructions that I'm going to go through. Um, because yes, this webinar is great. It's going to be recorded on our help desk. But uh, the more information you have about how to create your own templates, I feel like the better you're going to be equipped to take uh, this instruction and apply it within your office. So first, within Redtail, if you go to the question mark in the top right hand corner and then the red tail help desk the red tail help desk is where we've got hundreds of articles videos just walkthroughs detailed information about accessing anything red tail really and what we're going to do in the top right hand corner here is type in mail merge and anytime we say mail merge i'm not talking about emails or texting or phone calling or any type of uh, those correspondences, I'm talking about a paper, like a physical paper that's gonna go through a Word document. So you're gonna print it out. Um, it could also be an envelope. It could also be labels or anything that you print onto labels. So name tags come to mind, um, any type of address labels, um, and any postcards, you can even print your own postcards. That is an option for, through this process as well. So there's a couple of different articles I wanna point out from this search. And all we did was search mail merge and click enter. And there's the first article that comes up is mail merge fields. So let's open this and I'm going to right click and open in a new tab. And the mail merge field is going to show you any of the fields within Redtail that you have the option to insert into a Word document so that it can pull that information from a contact record. So for example, I can write a letter and say, hi, and then insert the field for first name. And by inserting the field for first name, when I run this for a single contact or multiple contacts, I will get their name within that section. It'll say, hi, Leo, or hi, Malcolm. And then it'll have the comma and the rest of the body of the letter and then 
the sincerely or the, the sign off as well. So, um, and then you can do middle name, middle initial, last name, suffix, designation, nickname, job title. There's a lot of different fields here. The ones that we primarily work with are the ones that I see most often are going to be some type of name situation, whether you want to build one that's a very um, structured, like salutation, first name, last name, and salutation, spouse, first name, spouse, last name, if you'd like it to be a little bit more formal. Or you can also pull a single field like family name from Redtail. So if you've householded your clients, you can pull a single field called family name and that will address the family however you've decided to address each individual family within Redtail. And then with uh, addresses, with um, envelopes, letters, or labels, you're probably going to want to pull their mailing address. And this address field will pull the primary address from Redtail. So within Redtail, you want to make sure that any addresses you're going to be sending mail to are the primary addresses within their contact record. And whenever we're inserting the address field, and I'll make sure to show you as I go, whenever we're inserting the address field, we're gonna insert all three lines, address one, address two, and address three. The reason we're gonna do that is because there are multiple pieces of information that may come out within an address. The first line is always gonna be the uh, street number and then the street address. And then the second line maybe the city, state, and zip, but if they have a suite number or an apartment number or a condo number or a, whatever it is, a unit number of some type, that's going to be line two. And then the third line would then return the city, state, and zip. So whenever you make a mail merge, always include all three lines um, just to set yourself up for success. You'd never want to create a mail merge with only the two lines and then generate it for 100 individuals and find out that five of them actually had unit numbers and have been returned to sender, or they didn't even have the full address when they generated in the first place. So red tail tip there, always insert all three of those for best practice. And then there's other additional information that you can export depending on what type of mail merge you're sending. One of my favorite ones to point out is the servicing and the writing advisor. So if you're a multi-advisor office, what you can do is set your correspondences up that are, that are so general or in a generic way so that you can generate the same onboarding welcome letter and it'll pull the servicing advisor's name based on who is the servicing advisor on the contact record. Now you may have advisors that prefer their own language or their own specific verbiage within the letter and then you're going to have different templates for each of the advisors and that's okay too. It's not wrong in any way. Also, if you want a little bit more of a personalized letter and you want to put the picture of the advisor on there, then they're going to have separate templates. So you may have one advisor with their picture and their template and then another template will have the second advisor's picture and template. So let's look at inserting fields next, but these are all the fields that you can insert. And I do recommend when we insert them to copy them from this page and paste them into Word. And I will demo that. So let's go back to our search results here from the help desk. Another great article here is how to create and upload a mail merge template for use with Redtail. That's kind of a mouthful. <laughs> How do I create and upload a mail merge template for use with Redtail? And this document is going to walk you through all the steps to insert these fields in Word. So I'm on a Mac computer. I won't be able to demo this process, but it, it is still uh, correct for, for PC computers and PC Microsoft products. So the first thing that this document goes through 
is opening up a Microsoft Word document and either pulling up a blank or existing document that you would like to make available as a mail merge. So this would be if you don't already have a, an onboarding letter or a referral request or an appointment confirmation, whatever you're sending. This is like if you're starting brand new from scratch. You're gonna open a blank document. And then the first thing that we tell you how to do is actually a, a word feature. It's how to set the date and the time to automatically generate onto that document when you create that document. So this would be great for any type of ADV form or cover page you wanna send to clients through the postal system, but I maybe would not include it on like a birthday card unless you wanted to. Um, but this is just straight up word instructions. You can Google how to insert date and time in Word and you'll get the same instructions here. Um, so then after our date and time, that's where we get to actually inserting the mail merge fields. So within Word, you're going to see a bar that looks like this across the top of Word, and you're going to have a, a quick parts option. So first go to the insert tab across the top, and then quick parts, and then select field. And then this box is gonna pop up right here. And it all looks very complicated. It's not, it's not very complicated. It's just a lot of steps within Word to insert these fields. So insert, quick parts, field. And then you're gonna get this box that pops up or something very similar to it. And under categories, select mail merge. Under field names, click merge field. Under field name, that's where you're going to paste the name of the field that you would like pulled from Redtail. So that's where you would go back to this other mail merge fields document and say, I wanna pull in first name. I'm gonna copy first name and paste it within that second column there. And then you're done. You're gonna click okay. And in the document, it's going to say first name and then it's gonna have some carrots on both sides, some of those little greater than, less than symbols. Um, you, it's important to know you cannot just type in the, the greater than, less than symbols and first name. You do have to insert it this way within the document for it to be able to recognize that it's supposed to pull the first name or the last name or the family name. And you do have to go through all of these steps for each field you're going to insert. So if you're watching this webinar and you're like overwhelmed at this point and you're going, whoa, 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 red tail, this is crazy complicated. I don't like this Haley chick. That's okay. Stick with me here um, because we've actually created templates for you. So you don't have to go through all of these steps. You can download uh, the templates from our help desk and just get started with those instead of going through all of these steps in the very beginning. So to find those templates, you're going to go to the search in the top right hand corner and say mail merge templates. You could just put mail merge, anything close to mail merge there, click enter. And then there's a bunch of samples here. So we've got sample mail merge letter templates. I'm going to right click and open that in a new tab. We've got sample mail merge card templates. I'm gonna open that in a new tab. Mail merge envelope templates. I would recommend that every office make a size 10 envelope template. If you're going to be sending any type of letter to your clients, this letter 10 or the size 10 envelope, that's your standard um, envelope size for an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. I would recommend you make that. And the reason each office has to make this template is because you guys have your, all your own uh, return addresses. So you can um, either run a, a printed size 10 envelope that you already have your address printed on, run that through the printer when generating this for your clients. And then you don't have to stick labels on and worry if the labels are all even. I'm notoriously bad at putting stickers on straight. So this is a great way for your printer to take on that burden and print the address directly on any envelopes that you have with your return address. So let's look at some of those templates. So we're gonna start with the letter templates. 
And in this document, the very first one is the only one you really have to download. That's all fields. So what we've done is we already made a Word document and inserted all of the fields for you. So if you click on the little link below, it's going to download that document to your computer. It's gonna to go to your downloads file. You're gonna open it up. And it's gonna look like this. So what we've done is remember all those clicks I just explained you how to go through to go to insert, mail merge field, and then select mail merge, merge field, and then put in the merge field from Redtail. We've done all that for you. So if you have this document on your computer, maybe save it as a template. And then when you wanna make a letter, just delete everything you're not going to use. So say I wanted to make a letter to address families for Thanksgiving. I'm going to delete everything I'm not going to use and I'm gonna use family name, address one, two, and three. And then I'm gonna save the servicing advisor field for the very end of the letter. So now I've got the beginnings of my letter and I can say, dear, and I can copy that family name field and add a comma behind it. And then I can proceed with typing my recommended recipe for Thanksgiving that I'm going to send out to all of my clients and it'll populate the servicing advisor's name from the database. And then I can, after all of them are printed, I can sort them into appropriate piles for servicing advisor Leonidas and servicing advisor Malcolm and then give them a stack of papers to sign that they're going to sign their signature on, fold them up, send them out. So there's an example of how to easily create the template basically. We've taken a lot of work off, off your plate there. Um, so that's the main template. If you remember nothing else about any of the templates, definitely use this template um, to get started because again, we've already inserted the fields for you. There are some other suggested ones like this is a, sort of a similar form as the personal profile form within Redtail where it generates all of the contact information onto a single sheet. So we've made a Word version that you can maybe put your uh, company logo at the top and, and decorate it up in Word. And then there's sample letters like appointment confirmations, appointment another uh, referral request. You can throw borders on them. You can do anything to them in Word at this point. There's not any um, limitations really. If you're gonna make it really complicated in Word, you might not be able to run it for a large number of contacts, like more than 100, but that's okay. You can always limit your search to less than 50 and run the mail merge in batches of contacts as well. So I think we've kind of gone through our letter templates. Just to show you what else is possible, there are also card templates here. So if you wanna print your own birthday cards, congratulations cards, uh, thank you cards, you can do that as well. So let's download and look at a version of this. And here's a sample, thank you. So this would be, it would print two cards on one sheet of paper, and then you'd have a paper cutter to cut them in half. And there's the outside of the card. And then here's the inside of the card where it says first name, thank you for attending our event on date. And all of that would be filled out before you upload these templates to Redtail. So we haven't even gotten to the point where we're gonna put these templates in Redtail yet, but that's coming soon. And then one more sample to show here is the envelope. And the envelope is just gonna be, um, there's some standard sizes, 6.75 inches, and then we've got our regular 10 size here. So that's your, your size 10 envelope. And then um, this one has some coloring to it. You can delete that if you'd like to. And then we've put our address in the return address area where you can delete that and put in your own address as well. 
So all of these are, like I said, available to you on the help desk to take a lot of that work off so you don't have to upload them to Redtail. But once you download them from here and have added your personal office touches to these templates, then you're ready to in upload them to Redtail. So let's talk about how to do that. So you've got your template all ready to go. So in Word, we've got our thank you card all ready to go here. So let's do this. So we're gonna say thank you for attending our Thanksgiving event on November 29th. If you have any questions or would like to set up a financial consultation and then we'll put email address for them to email to and reach out to. And we've already got that first name inserted. So we're gonna save this. We're gonna go to file, save. I'm actually gonna save it as and make sure I know where I'm saving it to. Thank you template and we're going to put that on the desktop and save. And it is important when you are saving these to make sure that they are saving as a Word 97 to 2004 document. It doesn't always matter um, to save it as that older file type. It is the file type that works best with Redtail, but don't feel like you have to do this every time. I just want to give you this tip um, in case you run into issues. If you save it as a .docx file, which is what it will default to, most of the time you won't run into any issues. But if you do save it as a .docx file and it does not work or you do run into any trouble, go back to your computer, save it as a .doc file, re-upload it to Redtail, and then most likely those issues will be resolved. So I do think it's worth mentioning but if you just totally tuned out and said, wow, that was way too technical, don't worry about it. Our support team can help structure that to save as a 97 to 2004 document as well. And any computer that you're on, Mac or PC, will give you this option to select that file format. So we're going to save. And then we have that file ready to go. So now that I've got my template all ready, to go into Redtail, we're going to go to Redtail, go to our name in the top right hand corner, and go to manage our account. That's where we can access all of our templates. You do not have to be an administrator to upload mail merge templates. Anybody in the office can do this. And we're going to go to mail merge templates, and then we're going to upload or add file over on the right hand side. Now, as you can see, I've got quite a few templates here. A recent addition or recent feature to this page was the category. And I do encourage you to use the category to organize your templates. So I've started organizing mine into customer service and general information. If it's a prospecting letter, you might categorize that as prospecting. If it's a client, uh, a client appointment confirmation, you might categorize that as a client review or a client correspondence, whatever your available categories are in your database. So we're going to add a file over here on the right hand side. And then we're going to go to our desktop and choose that thank you template. And you can upload more than one file at once. We're just going to do the one for now and start that upload. Once it's uploaded your single or multiple documents, we're going to scroll down and verify that our thank you template made, made it into the database at the very bottom here. So now I'm prepared to run this mail merge for any client or a bunch of clients from a list. Let's start with a single client. So we're gonna go to one of my favorite clients here. And he did, he attended our Thanksgiving event with bells on and was so excited. 
So Tim here, we're gonna run this thank you card for just him. And by to do that, we're gonna click on common tasks in the top right hand corner, mail merge. And then under mail merge template, it's gonna give us a list of all of our available templates. And there's our template that we created. Thank you template at the very bottom. And now we have the opportunity to either save it as a note or not. And I do recommend saving it as a note. It is a correspondence that you are sending to the client and is worth notating. This will be a mail merge type of note. So if you're concerned about it cluttering up your notes, you can always uh, choose to not view the mail merge notes when looking at your notes on all contacts. And that's a great option. And then I do want to add more context to this note. So I'm going to add some text that says Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving thank you card sent. And you can put as much text in here as, as any other note. There's the regular 65,000 character limit on it. So you're not going to run into a limit there. And then it also will have the name of the template within the note. And this note category, we're going to select as customer service. We might have had it as a Thanksgiving event. If that's an event that we host yearly, we might have a category for that Thanksgiving event, or you might put it under marketing or event planning. There's a bunch of options. And then we're gonna run mail merge. So that's gonna do two things. One, it's going to download our template from Redtail. And it, it's kind of cool. It sends it through Timothy's record to our computer. So it takes Timothy's information, his family name and his address and puts it onto that Word document, which we're gonna open in a second here. And then it also, at the same time, added a note to Tim's contact record. So I'm gonna refresh, go to latest notes, and there you can see Haley today at this time created a mail merge document with the template name, thank you template. And the additional note was what I typed, Thanksgiving thank you card sent. And that is a mail merge type of note with a category customer service. So I can report on it by either of those, um, either of those fields, a mail merge type of note or the category of customer service. And then let's open up our, let's open up our template or our Word document. So this is our template before it came into Redtail. Here is the file that just opened on my other screen. So there's the first part, thank you. That didn't change at all. But Timothy's name is now here and thank you for attending our Thanksgiving event. Oh, I forgot the word event. <laughs> That's okay, we can fix that on our template. And then um, we could have put you know, servicing advisor down here. And if it had had his address, it would have pulled his address field as well. But it did pull his name, we can print this out cut the card, put it in an envelope, and put it in the mail. That's just for one contact. Now let's try another template that's already in Redtail, but for many contacts at once. So back in Redtail, we'll go to contacts and then advanced search up at the top. And the reason I like to go to the advanced search is because you the, the world is your oyster at this point. You can run a list of any variation of the contacts in your database. So if you wanted to send a prospecting letter or newsletter to your prospects, then you can say contact status equal to prospect. Or if we wanna send an invitation to all of our active clients, then we can search for all active clients. If you wanted to send a Galentine's luncheon invitation to all of the females between a certain age range in early February, you can do that. If you wanted to send anniversary reminders to all of your clients that have marital anniversaries in a certain month, you can do that. There are so many applications here for mail merges. Makes your head spin a little bit. So this search is for all of our active clients. Let's just do all 118 of them. 
I'm going to select all 118, go to contact options, bulk actions. I apologize. I went on autopilot for a second there. We're going to select all of them, go to contact options, mail merges. And then we're going to choose one of our available templates here. So let's do a happy holidays family name. We're going to save it as a note. Holiday card generated. So you can say generated here instead of sent because I didn't actually put it in the mail yet. I only generated it to prepare for the mail. Run the mail merge. And depending on the size of it, it may download immediately or I may get a pop up that says your file will be available in your in your um, files within Redtail. So mine did download. If you didn't see it in the bottom left hand corner, it did download to the computer. But if it hadn't, I might have gotten a little window that says you can find this in under your name, manage your downloads, and then it would have gone over to your downloads and you can download it from there to view it on your computer. And that may take five or 10 minutes. Um, sometimes the jobs get backed up and they take a little bit longer, but this is eventually where it will end up. And you also get an email when it's ready. But ours downloaded, so we're gonna click in the bottom left-hand corner here to open that file. And it might be quite large. We ran it for 118 contacts, so I'm expecting 118 pages. Now you may have noticed in the search, I had a business up at the very top under our contacts and our search. I had a business record and that may not show up on the letter or it may generate a blank page for the business. So let's bring this back up. Okay, so our 118 records, we've got a 401k plan. So if you do have clients that might be business records or you might be sending correspondences to trust records, then you wanna set up your mail merge template so that it can generate for a business record or an individual contact record. And the way to do that would be to set the appropriate mail merge fields side by side on the template. So, oh, here's our happy holidays. So here's our happy holidays cards. The 401k business is blank, but Mr. Adams came next. And then we have the, the front of this one. So you would wanna print this front and back. And then we've got two blank ones. And then we've got Mr. Barry Allen, Mr. Paul Allen. So the blank ones are telling me that those are probably business records that I need to either exclude from my search or I need to fix my template so that it can pull in business names or individual names. So going back to our all mail merge document that we downloaded from the help desk, the way that you can do that is say company name and then just put the family name field right next to company name. Don't even put a space in between the two. And then delete everything else and then make your address box look like that. So you can say company name, family name, address one, address two, address three. And what this is saying is if it's a company, pull the company's name. If it's not a company, then pull the family name. And then either way, it's gonna pull their primary address. And then your letter is set up for success. You don't have to have one for businesses and one for individuals. And then if you've seen any of our other Redtail webinars, individual contacts should have a family name too. This is all to make these bulk correspondences easier on your office staff and yourself. So even if you have an individual client who's not married and has no family and they're single, that's okay. Create a family name for them. And then when you run your search, limit your search to heads of household to get only a certain, um, the head of household, or honestly, the family name only pulls for one per family anyway. 
So you're going to be able to get a list of your clients and by household and companies, <clears throat> excuse me, a list of your households and companies all in one fell swoop. So let's do another template just to show you what some, what another letter would look like, but we'll only do the first 50 this time. So we're going to select 50 contact options, mail merges, and then we can do, I like the change of information and what we don't have to save it as a note. You don't have to save it as a note every time. And especially if you're testing something, maybe don't save it as a note every time because then you'll have a bunch of test notes in there. And this opened on my other screen. So let me pull that up for you. So here is a change of information. And our first one is blank. That doesn't tell me that the template isn't working. That tells me that this contact record is either a business, which we know that it is from the search, or um, maybe the, the information is not marked primary. But for Miss Mary, we've got Mary's name, Mary's name, and then it pulled her email address. And then for a more complete contact record, we've got Mr. Adams with his address, his email, his address over here. And we're seeing different levels of information populated for each of these contacts. So there's a lot of troubleshooting and back and forth that goes into mail merges. And I wanted to demo them not working perfectly so that you know the ways to troubleshoot is you're probably not going to create it perfectly the first time, but that's okay. Once you get the hang of it for your own office, you're going to have some really awesome templates. And then one very important part of the mail merge conversation is labels. Labels relate to mail merges because they generate and they're created very much in the same way. So from within Redtail, we do have them separated from mail merges that are right above and there's this option for labels. Now, these labels are just templates that we put together. We saw that they were popularly used across the industry, and Avery has some great um, templates that were easy for our development team to build off of as well. So Avery is a popular label brand. You'll see it at your office supply store, and then they code their different sizes by 5162, 5160, and all these numbers. So we do have pre-made labels for 5161, 5160, and there's four options for each label. If I just choo choose Avery 5160, this is gonna pull for all of the individuals on my list, and it's gonna pull one label per person. So, and as you can see, this one is set up to pull the names of businesses as well. Mary came in and then I'm seeing who has primary addresses and who does not have primary addresses from this page. So if anything, if nothing else, labels are a great way to test the information and see who has it filled out and who doesn't. Um, and this is again, one of our pre-made labels. The other three options, family name is gonna pull one per household. So if you've got a client and their spouse in your list, then use the family name option and that will only pull one label, even though there's two records in your search. Ordered by zip code is gonna do just that. It's gonna pull the individuals ordered by their zip codes. And then a single sheet is gonna pull a single sheet of labels for each contact. So I'm gonna get a whole page for 401k plan, a whole page for Mary Abel. This is something I've seen really organized offices do. And I don't mean that as a challenge to anybody, um, but I have seen offices pre-prep birthday cards, anniversary cards, five or 10 years out. So that's where you could generate a single sheet of labels and in a file within your office, prep all of their birthday cards, all of their Thanksgiving cards or whatever it is um, for each individual contact or maybe all their client anniversary cards if you're going to send them an anniversary for being your client. There's, it's not a popular option, but just in case you want to do that, that is a great way to go about that. 
if you have a label that does not fall into one of these sizes, then you can create a custom label template within Word. I do recommend starting at that company's website. So if it's Avery, you can Google Avery 5163, let's say that was a number. I would Google Avery 5163 template, download Avery's template in Word and start with that template. The reason you wanna do that is so you don't have to deal with trying to figure out the size of the margin and how that is all set up in Word. Most of these label companies already have a digital template for you to grab from online. But that template won't have Redtail's merge fields, right? So if you do want to create a custom label, again, download their template. And then we do have a help desk article on how to create custom labels. And it involves inserting another field that says next. And that's going to make sure that you can generate more than one contact on a single page, which is all the labels are. And remember that labels don't always mean labels for filing folders or labels for envelopes to go in the postal system. Labels can also be name tags for events. Um, they can be name plates for gifts and etc. There's a lot of other uses to labels than just sending letters. I can't go into detail on, on inserting the next merge field um, because most of, most of you guys are going to be on PCs, but that document is here. Create custom labels. And I went back to the help desk to search this. And then there's how do I create custom labels for use with Redtail? And this will walk you through it step by step. One other very common question is how do I address both spouses, but not point out to anyone who's single that they don't have a spouse? That requires the, the template to be smart, right? We're requiring the template to be able to tell like, okay, if they're married, pull the spouse's name. If they're not married, don't say, hi, Haley, and because then I'm gonna have this awkward space after and, and it just says forever alone and it's just, it's bad. We don't wanna do that. So that's where you can insert uh, an and before the spouse first name within the mail merge template. But honestly, I'm gonna give you the easiest option here. I'm gonna say and spouse mail merge. Um, we're going to say, how do I run, how do I address a letter to both spouses when running mail merges? And this is a whole document because we get this question so much. Don't even read it. Scroll all the way to the bottom and there's a template for you. And that template will automatically pull dear first name and spouse first name. But if they don't have a spouse, it will just say dear first name comma. And the reason I encourage you to use this already built template to put your letter on is because if you're on a Mac, this isn't an option. It's not a function of Word, Microsoft Word for Mac. So I can't even demo it for you being on a Mac computer. This template that we made for you was created on a PC computer and it really is just the easiest way to get started. Thanks so much for joining us today for this particular session. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 800-206-5030, option three for support, or just shoot us an email over to support at redtailtechnology.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.